I'm going to take a look at another way of starting centre out double knitting without having to wrestle with the tubular cast on. And what I'm doing here is using smaller than usual needles and casting on eight stitches. So that's half the number that we want to end up with. And I'm just using long tail cast on. Eight stitches. And I've made sure I've got enough tail yarn to neaten up the hole that will be left after this form of cast on. With the tubular cast on, you can gather it closed with the tail you used, but with this one, the tail won't gather the circle up. Now I'm going to divide this onto a second smaller needle. I'm going to slip the first four stitches onto a second needle. And then I'm going to fold that final needle around the back. So my hinge is at the left. The final stitch I cast on is just here. And if I turn that over now, so I've just rolled it towards me. If I take my working yarn, not the tail, and knit the first stitch I cast on, which is that one, and take my regular working size needle, I can now knit and purl into each stitch, which will double up our numbers, set us up with knits and purls, and make us ready for the first round of double knitting. So I'm just knitting into this one, and then purling, so I don't release the stitch. It's that old-fashioned knit and purl increase. And I'll do that right across this needle. So four times. By the time I've finished, I'll have eight stitches on this needle. There are my eight stitches, four knits, four purls, alternating. Turn the whole thing round. Take your regular size needle. Move that away from the tip so it doesn't drop off. And now do the same across this needle. And halfway along this needle, I'm going to introduce a second needle so that then I will have three in my work and a little triangle. So one, two, and now time for a third needle. Now I'm ready for the first round with two colours, so proper double knitting now. And I'm going to begin with the colour that I cast on with. So I've knitted a pink stitch. Then I'm going to swing both yarns through between the needles and purl the second stitch. I do find it easier to start with both yarns in one hand. Pretty soon I'm going to set up one yarn in each hand, but to get that first contrasting stitch anchored, I find it helpful to put them in whatever is your best knitting hand. Now this will give me a pink stitch on the front of my fabric and a green stitch on the back. So now I want a green stitch on the front and swing them both through, get that out of the way and purl that one. So that's my first two pairs of the colour pattern set up and now I'm going to introduce a fourth needle and repeat that across each of the needles in turn. Things will feel a bit volatile with so many needles and so few stitches, so watch out that none of your needles twist around. Make sure they stay in sequence. It'll get much easier after this round. So I've got my final needle to work here. So pink knit. Putting both yarns between the needles. Green purl. Green knit, pink purl, and that's the first round done. And that will establish us nicely for when we begin the increases for the crown of the hat or whatever happens next. For comparison purposes, let's take a look at the difference between the tubular cast on and the knit and purl cast on that we've just shown. It's not unattractive, so the tubular is a slightly smaller 
area of pink here uh, because we actually had the cast on followed by one row of knits and pearls. But otherwise it's, it's a perfectly neat top to your hat and this is unneatened at present so if you chose to you could do something creative with that cast on tail. So there's the tubular one side and the tubular the other. It is slightly more elegant but there's nothing wrong with using the knit and pearl cast on if you find it easier.